Hey guys, this will be pretty quick because you've kind of seen it already during the the first video on the GT40X, but we'll go over it in a little more detail. This is first cut. You can see some of the differences in the chamber, right? Got rid of that big ridge around the valve. We took care of that. As far as the liquid, not bad stock. Mine's a little better, a little bit thinner, a little bit wider in the bowl. And the reason we said it was, well, these have been done since then. There was a, a big sharp edge in there. These are all pretty much set up where the first cut uh, ended up. And we're going to move on from there. I don't think I showed you guys the completely stock uh, view like this. I think I forgot. But it was nothing like the first cut. The first cut, you can see the blue starts right after the pinch and flows all the way in. I'm not used to seeing that, uh, even on a small block Ford. So I'm pretty happy with the way that looks so far. And uh, in reality, this is... First cut is really kind of just a cleanup. Okay? Yeah, we took a little bit off the pinch, but can't take much off the pinch. It's very thin. Went through around the whole port. Took all the lumps and bumps and stuff out of it. This is not a heavy casting, so you can't just gouge out big parts of the roof or anything. You'll, you'll make a hole. It's, it's quite thin before you do anything to it, really. Kind of, kind of hurts when you're trying to modify it and make it better because you don't have the flexibility. If you know an area needs needs more area, there's not enough metal to really make it happen. And it makes it more difficult because I want to use a, a relatively rough, rough texture on this. It is going to be a carbureted street rag. So I want to keep that fuel mixed. So any places that I really think I need extra area, I have to change the texture to a less aggressive texture to get a really accurate reading on my Sonic and then uh, work accordingly. Okay, you can see the, the short side looks a lot better, but as you'll see on the flows, we had a ton of noise after I modified the short side. So we'll have to definitely look at that. And it's not super thick, so you can't just knock it all the way back and do what you want with it. Because it is so low, it's, it's going to take a little... A little finessing to make this short side work the way we want it to. Okay, it really doesn't look too bad there. You can see I didn't really do a lot around the, the guide balls. Don't really need to at this point. The chamber is basically take the rough edges and stuff out and uh, a small DV plateau around the exhaust. I don't like to make a huge one. He makes it completely flat. I don't. I make I make mine rounded. Okay. He would start his further back and come straight this way, right, into the port. I like it a little more round. I would like the, the air to come around and go into the bowl a little deeper. I don't know which is... The preferred method I know the way I like to do it okay floor really didn't get much work it basically got cleaned slightly wider because I'm not gonna go crazy on a first cut but just kind of shaped it into what I th thought the short side should look like I probably should let you know this is the first time I've even uh, I've ever touched this style head as, as a stock replacement, it's a nice head, but there's so many more modern heads that would pretty much eat this. Something to think about. Something to think about. Okay, the exhaust straightforward cleanup. I do my radius. All right. By the way, the, the, the valve job that came on this was really nice. They It was almost radius from Ford, so it was, it was very easy for me to... Uh, make it a nice rig. Okay, got rid of all those big sharp edges that were right at the beginning of that short side. 
and uh, the exhaust picked up quite well and it's it's a good thing it picked up quite well because as far as I'm concerned it's a little on the big side to start with okay you can see it's got a decent size opening you know right from Ford I'm not going to be making those openings any bigger uh, if I'm going to be taking out any metal it's going to be in the bowl rate area and I'm only going to do that according to what my air speeds tell me the short side from this angle is probably going to get a polish and uh, it may get widened depending upon what my air speeds show me but probably not a lot okay better view of that short side it looks way better than way it did stock and the exhaust picked up a decent amount the intake really didn't pick up like I thought it should but we'll compare them in a sec my light refused to stay, so I'm going to one-hand this for you guys. It, the, the exhaust really doesn't look bad from this angle. It looks like it's got, you know, a decent roof. It's a little more rectangular. I would like to round that all out a little bit, but like I said, it's already relatively big, and it's going to be a street ride, so we're going to try to get it done with the stock shape best we can. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get this done the right way this time, all right? stock you guys seen this before and first cut you've actually seen these before but not with the pluses and minuses in now it doesn't look that terrible when you see all the pluses usually I lose quite a bit right around these low lift areas when you take those big sharp edges out of the chamber this time you only got one minus and it was very small it went up you know almost 10 10, 10 plus at 300 which isn't bad but we don't top out very well. I mean, literally, you see the ends? We're losing it on that short side at 400. Okay, that noise coming across the short side, not good. We're going to need to work on this. This is definitely going to limit us. So, our peak, let's say 214, 221, 225, 228, eh, a little better. Not really as much of a pickup as I would have expected. Okay, we're comparing our swirl numbers here to our swirl numbers here. Our swir swirl went up everywhere, okay? And between five and 600, we got 26, 29, a little bit higher than I'd like, actually. Notice how much they went up from where they were. Huge difference in swirl. I think that's kind of interesting. You know, going up 600... Take a look at how much this one went up. Wow. Huge difference. And, of course, it has to do with the way the short side works. Okay? So as we fix this short side, I'm pretty sure we'll see these numbers go down. It'll be interesting to follow along. Okay, our exhaust numbers. That's where we were stock, and this is what we got. We got all pluses. We had three spots of noise. We still have three spots of noise, okay? But we got a we got a boost everywhere, you know, not bad. And after 0.35, this one pretty much is done already. We keep gaining. You know, 177.5, not great, but not bad for only a first cut. And you put a pipe on it, 194.5, 196. Right in this area is where our lift is going to be. So that works out pretty well. And remember, that's got no texture work on it at all. That's that's the that is a bird short side, a light burr short side. All right, let's go through our air speeds. All of these are taken at 600. This is what our pinch was. This is what our pinch is. We got plus minus plus. Not a huge change, even though the pinch is a little bit bigger here than it is here because I did clean it up. Now I didn't take a ton of metal out of it because there's not a lot of metal to take out of it. It's kind of as big as they can make that style to begin with. Had we do on our roof, plus plus, very tiny plus, but a plus. Okay, a little more speed on our our cylinder wall side, probably because that huge sharp edge isn't there. How about our short side radius, plus minus minus. But we are a lot more even than we were. Now, that was taken at 600. It was completely lost over the short side already at that point. 
Okay, take a look at our exhaust speeds. Right, some key points pretty much dead in the center, dead in this corner. This this bottom is pretty bad. Did we improve it? Plus plus minus. We're uh, we're not as even across as we were, but we we're flowing a lot more air at 600 than than we were here. Here we're only 130, 138. And at 600, we're 174, so we're moving a lot more air. Okay, that went down a tiny bit. The center came alive. It was 89, right? Almost dead. Now it's 299, much better. This went down a touch. This went way up compared to where it was. It was dead, 40. And this barely changed. You know, we went from 135 to 132. All right, guys, on to my second cut with these. Uh, what will I be doing? Well, what I'll be doing is I will be analyzing my air speeds and uh, taking it from there. I know the short side needs work because of all this noise, right? As far as our exhaust, this noise is probably dictated by the throat, and the throat is almost where I would want the throat to be. So I may I may up the throat a tiny bit more to get my 86%. I haven't decided yet. I may just put a texture on it and see what we got. Because that, like I said, that's the short side is bird. Actually, the whole port is a light bird. You know, that's my uh, 3 8 that's really worn out. It gives a very, very um, light texture it's 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 not quite perfectly smooth but it's pretty good all right guys getting brain freeze friday i actually took all of next week off because i've had it with work and uh, i will be finishing up need to i want to do the the dv program on the tpi stuff and then uh, clean them pack them get them shipped out and uh, then I got this project. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna knock this out that week. So, thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.